YouTube friends, this is Elizabeth J with an S and today I wanted to go through a bullet journal that I've created for a friend of mine. Um, I used this uh, bullet journal called Scrivewell and I purchased it on Amazon. The reason why I purchased this one, which actually I never heard about before, was because I needed a certain number of pages and I needed the pages to be a certain weight. So this book has 205 sides um, and it had and it's 120 GSM which was um, thick enough for what I needed to do. So it comes in a variety of different colors. I liked the purple so that is why I picked that one. Now the reason why I needed a certain weight is because I was doing ink stamping and the pigment ink that I used bled through some of the lighter weight pages. So what I've done is um, I created this for a colleague of mine, I'm a school teacher, and so I created it for our school year, which starts in a couple weeks and ends uh, by the end of June 2020. So um, this was the ink stamping that I did, and you can see that there's some slight um, ghosting on the opposite side, but because I put these stickers down here, it's really a negligible issue. So the stickers that I um, used here, these were blank monthly stickers from Planning with K. They are the small size if you're interested in purchasing them, but I thought it was perfect for just like the overview for the year, and I just filled in the dates with a Pilot Fine Liner pen. So what I did was I started out with a monthly spread for August, and um, I did some hand lettering, which I have used the Tombow Furunosuke um, pens, the colored pens, and they're more of a hard tip, which I prefer to use, especially when you're doing smaller lettering. And then I have a little bit of stamping on there as well. So this was the month of August spread. And then um, because I was tailoring it to her, I knew she would appreciate some um, quotes and some Bible verses. So every month I put a different Bible verse or quote and then a gratitude log so i put that in this is for august the gratitude log and then um, i included a page for the school calendar we have a prep school calendar and a secondary calendar and they're two separate calendars so i thought it would be convenient to put them both together on the same page so then she could see where there's uh, conflicting events occurring for whichever day of the month it was and then there's a to-do list here for the month and then we get into the daily um, spread. So I created a, a kind of hourly um, spread for each day and then the week takes up three sides. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday are there with a little note section on each page. And basically the spreads for each day just follow that system very consistently until we get to the next month. And so each month has a different color. So here we are at September. Again, I dated everything according to September. There's my quote and the gratitude log and our school calendar and the to-do list. And then we get into the spreads. And so that is how I've done it for the entire school year. So if we kind of just flip through, you'll see um, I have different colors for the different uh, months. Uh, what I can say, this um, number strip, which I also purchased from Planning with Kay, is very convenient. She has different styles that come in the packet. So we've got this thinner one. Um, we've got this thicker one here. Uh, let me see if there's some other. There's this other sort of rounded style, which is also a bit wide. Um, very convenient to have sort of a vertical type calendar. The other thing that I did include, which you might have seen when I was doing some flipping, was a few coloring pages. So, of course, my um, monthly calendar had to be on an open spread like this. But if the last weekend ended on this side of the page, then I would have left this page blank. So what I did was I decided to put a coloring page in on those specific pages. So we've got one here at the end of, what month is that? Month of October. So we've got this bookshelf one. This one is at the end of January. We've got some flowers. 
going on there. Um, this one is for the end of April. So some more little flower and paisley designs. And I think there's another one in here somewhere. Um, so we, then when we come to the end of the year, we're at June. June, there we are. Um, we end on, I want to say the 19th of June. Our school year is going to end. So I actually did not do all the weeklies for June. Um, so we've got the first and second. Yeah, we end on the 19th. So I just finished that week. There's another little butterfly coloring page. And then I did a future log for the months of July and August, just kind of leading into the next school year. And that is the little um, planner slash bullet journal slash diary that I created for a friend and colleague of mine at the school where I teach in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, I will post this after I give this to her. Of course, I'm not going to post this beforehand. I don't want her to see it until I give it to her. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that little gift and maybe you got some ideas for your own bullet journal, journal slash planner or diary. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do that now. You can click the notification bell if that's something you want to do. And I will see you a little bit later next time.